we're at Buffalo Bill's alumni, and here we're at the Taste of Buffalo. You can feel the positivity in the air, but for our youth, what message do you have to kind of give them some more positivity moving forward? We have a lot of positive things here in Buffalo that, that young people can avail themselves to. You know, for 20 years I was the Youth Bureau Director, or excuse me, the Youth Employment Director for Buffalo. 10 years before that I was the, the uh, Youth Bureau Director, and so I was heavily involved with programs to, you know, to help young people in this, in this county and in this entire area. And I just, uh, I just have so much faith in our young people. You know, this is seeing everybody out at the Taste of Buffalo and and just uh, having a good time and enjoying things. You know, it's we have to do this in light of what happened with the shooting at the Topps Market in Buffalo. You know, we have to move forward. You know, I mean, obviously we need gun safety measures implemented across this entire nation. But uh, you know, but besides that, we you know, and I'm not saying that we have to forget that. You know, we have to remember exactly what happened and move forward from that and do everything that we can to prevent something like that happening in the future. Um, and the way you do that is you raise young people up to have this positive self-esteem and identity. And, and you know, it's not, um, it's not an easy thing to do if you're in a, like a single parent family or in a family that's low income and that is just doing everything you can to, to try and survive in this world. But, uh, but there are things that young people can do. There's plenty of opportunity. There's so many programs that young people can get involved in. I've always been excited about getting young people involved in music. Uh, music is art. You know, through playing music, they can inspire other people. And, you know, you see that around here today, you know, different bands. Through our Buffalo Bills alumni, we also have a huge fundraiser we do every year. It's coming up this July 22nd and 23rd. It's our annual golf tournament and VIP party. We have all these guys that we fly in from out of town. Uh, we just have a great time reminiscing about the old days and, you know, the, the good and the bad. Uh, but, uh, you know, that we raise about $80,000 a year for charities that we give out. We usually typically give that out during Christmas. We feel that's the appropriate time to do it. And uh, the grants are typically around $2,500, $5,000. For the major sponsor, maybe $20,000. So, you know, we, we do everything we can to help financially these programs, but it's more about just being there for people, you know. I think you, the, the young people, they have to see you, they have to, you know, hear you, they have to, you know, feel you. And so, you know, that's what we try to do. And, and uh, you know, so through our alumni, we, we're, we're doing everything we can to, to support programs like that in the, in the county. and and in the entire region, basically, so. Yeah, so with being an alumni, who do you stay in contact with most? In like, when you were playing? When I was playing? Yeah, like, do you stay in contact with the other Bills players when you were playing? Oh, yeah, yeah, we've got, you know, there's, our group is probably about 20 strong here in this area. You know, we haven't been meeting as much as we'd like to because of the COVID problem, but we're gonna start probably getting back to, to uh, in-person meetings, but, yeah, I mean, Lou Pacone, obviously, he's, he's one of my buddies. And, and uh, you know, guys uh, from the older crowd like Charlie Ferguson, uh, Booker Edgerson, you know, I, I, Mark Bramer, uh, he's more of a new class. But, you know, we just have a really strong uh, group of alumni out there that are, that are doing everything they can to, uh, to improve the lives of other people. Absolutely. And what's your prediction for the Bills this coming season? That they will win win I, I think so too <laughs> now this is very important you know I don't care if they make the playoffs or go to the Super Bowl you know these guys are committed to winning though you know they're do they're gonna do everything they can a lot depends on how healthy they can stay throughout the season let's hope Josh Allen doesn't try to run the ball and, and jump over too many people but other than that you know they got they got a great group of guys you know they brought in Von Miller man what a I mean we had guys like that that Chuck Knox brought in back to admire, guys like Phil Villapiano, Conrad Dobler, you know, just tough guys that really inspired us. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I think they're, they're starting to build that nucleus of guys that have got that experience that are able to talk to the other guys and, and bring them up in their level of play. So I'm just, uh, I'm really excited about the season. Awesome. Well, we'll, you know, stay tuned. We're gonna have more Taste of Buffalo right after this. Make sure to follow us on all of the latest social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.